Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking on another method on how to solve the limit for a certain function. Especially if the limit of this function, if you are trying to um, just substitute the limit itself, is indeterminate. So, there is uh, certain types of limits which is in the indeterminate form. So, we are now um, using a method or a rule in which we are going to have the have the limits even if those um, limit uh, at their uh, uh, even if those those function at a certain uh, limit is indeterminate or they have an indeterminate form okay so we have the l hospitals rule okay so usually they are used if the if the limit for example we have a limit as x um, approaches to a so our function here is f of x and this is g of x and our answer will be 0 over 0 so this is undefined or indeterminate so we just have it call this one as undefined or our limit is as x approaches to a plus 1 or as x approaches to a minus 0 so this is 0 not 1 or as x approaches to infinity okay so the way in getting this one or to, to get the limit of this one is to have this the limit so this is now the uh, the l hospital so so it's just i have this one as a another color maybe we have this one is red okay so the limit of x of a so as at the limit of x as x approaches to a for the function f of x and g of x is equal to the limit of The first derivative of f of x okay, f of x over the first derivative of g of x as x approaches to a then it is equivalent to everything or we could have the second derivative so which is also equal to a certain function which we just call that function as k so if at first we could not solve for the limit if we if we directly substitute a to the function here so we will get the first derivative um, here if it's still not we could have at up to the third derivative Usually, it, 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 is, uh, it will be up to the third derivative. If not, then our function will be undefined. The final conclusion will be that function is, the limit of that function is undefined. But usually, up to the third derivative, we can now get the limit. And, and that limit will be equal to k, which is true to the function itself. So, that is the, how the L hospital rule works. Okay? So the one of the advantage of using this rule is that it, it will pre prevent us on using um, um, algebraic uh, too much algebraic manipulation. But the downside also is that we are uh, that using in, in using this rule, we must be um, good in in getting the derivative of certain functions or of functions. So that is the downside and the high side of using the this L hospital L hospitals rule. So we'll try to have this one um, using or solving this one with our uh, previous examples. We just had add here a page. So our previous example. So evaluate the limit. So, we'll solve this function here for us to prove if um, 
we could apply or the statement of L hospital's rule is true. Okay, x cubed, 3x squared plus 2x. Of course, there are the, there is a derivation on the theorem of or uh, of the L hospital's rule, but to serve to serve time in this video, we we'll just go directly improving the L hospital's rule by using example. Okay, so solution. So we just have that one in blue. Okay, now in this one, we will try to analyze first. Okay, we will try to analyze first if this um, given function is in the form of, we are going to go back, the form must be this one, f of x over j of x. So, as a, a single numerator function, a single denominator function, in which per inspection, so we have two different fractions. So, of course, we will try to have this one in a single fraction. So, if, if, if you re you watch the previous video, so we could just go directly to the uh, the fraction itself in which we have managed to get the the LCD. So this will be x squared minus five x plus six over x x minus one times x minus 2. So, this will be the the single fraction equivalent of this one. Now, we'll just get the derivative of this one and this one. So, if if you are, if you are having time getting the derivative of this function below, so, we'll just um, combine this one because it will be you will have three different functions. Okay? So, it's just make that one into a single um, function okay two six so of course this one is equivalent to this one so that is x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x okay now this this our f of x here so let's use the yellow color our f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6 and our g of x so maybe we could put g of x here g of x is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x so first we will get the first derivative of our f of x so the first derivative of that one f of x is equal to 2x minus 5 plus 0 so we could just neglect our 0 here then the next one our g of x is equal to 3x squared so that will be the first one minus 6x okay, the derivative of this one plus 2 Okay, then we'll just substitute that one, this one into our given given formula, this one here. Okay, so we could have our limit now. So we just have the equal limit x to the power of 2, uh, x, as x approaches 2. So our f prime of x, so this is 2x minus 5 over This is 3x squared minus 6x plus 2. Then we could substitute. So we have um, 2 times 2 minus 5. So now substitute the, the value of x by 2. So we have 3 times 2 squared. That will be uh, minus 6 times 2 plus 2. So we have, this is 4 minus 5, that will be negative 1 all over, this will be 2 squared, 12. So 12 minus, oh this is also 12, so we have 2. 
So our answer is negative one half, which is the same on our previous example. So by this example, we have proven that we could use L hospitals rule in getting the limit of functions. Okay. So in the next few video, I'll be solving more examples of um, getting the limit of certain functions. And also maybe I will be posting video on the derivation of L hospitals rule and the special limits. Okay, so I hope you learned something from this video and as always, keep on studying.